Good evening, ladies, lasses, and lassos. Let me ask you this. What exactly is gayness? Mm, it's a very big mystery, isn't it? Well, I have found an academic, peer-reviewed source that talks about exactly what hashtag gayness is. What exactly are the frogs turning into? Hmm? It's a very important question. Welcome to r slash gay sounds post. <laughs> My peer-reviewed source on the... <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this, and I'm a little bit concerned. Enjoy. I do hope you enjoy it. A Merry Christmas. Mwah. Oh, and remember that emotional support demon is actually the best-selling plush of all time now. On makeshift, it's absolutely insane. If you want to pick up yours, it's available for like another week-ish. Hurry up! It's gone forever and stuff and uh, freaking manipulation and marketing. Uh, check it out. Link in the description. Mwah. Oh, yes, indeed. It's Christmas and we're all gay. Ooh, here's like one of those quizzes you get all the time. Guess your gender. We can guess your gender with 100% accuracy based on your answers to this quiz. Okay, you have the, the pride flag. You have... Communism, Reddit, uh, and, uh... <laughs> ah! The six genders. It all makes sense now. Who makes these quizzes? Like, they don't even double-check the images. Is this actually what, what the point is? They make something so outrageously bad that people will make these kind of videos about it, and that's where the advertising comes in, you know? The, the actual payment for the ad isn't even the primary advertising. Either they are really stupid, or they're, like, really smart. There's no in-between. Oh! <gasps> Estrogen? Oh my god! My butt! <laughs> <laughs> you know when you have a little bit of cake dough and it just swells up? Just like your cake swells up. <sighs> oh yes indeed. Well, I no longer need this, you know. I need I need to turn the binoculars backwards so I can even embrace the whole <sighs> cakeness. I swear to god, this video is already a complete disaster and we're like two memes in. This is great. Melody A, a hundred percent match! <gasps> it's literally you! 22 trans girls, she, her, by Green Ridge, zero miles away. Wait, it's literally your own profile in this game. Well, makes sense at a hundred percent match. Who wouldn't want to date such perfection? Quiet evening, snow nature chocolate girls. Dislikes bad stuff. You're a timid fox who lives near the small town of Green Ridge on the scenic Sapphire Islands. I wish dating profiles would just do this, match you with yourself and be like, you need to learn to love yourself before you can love others. And and just like a wholesome message, but then after a while you get annoyed because that's the only thing you match with. Doctors say I am a woman, trademark. Friends say I'm a woman. Family says I'm a woman. Society says I'm a woman. Boyfriend says I'm a woman. My legal documents say I'm a woman. Some random incel on 4chan says I'll never be a woman. Well, I guess that settles it. One thing you learn as a creator in the very big scary internet place is that strangers opinions are relatively often not really worth paying attention to <laughs> i cannot tell you the amount of times i read comments and stuff and and this is different because this is like well intended just misguided comments that like spread misinformation not even on purpose you know i'll say something in a video a while ago then there's some comment like Oh, I remember Click, Click said something like this, and it's like the opposite of what I said. And then a bunch of comments are like, Oh, thank you for informing me! Ah! <laughs> but uh, that's a bit more, like, cutesy and usually not so serious. Uh, this kind of stuff is uh, just uh, poopy loopies. Those freakers keep replacing the American flag with a trans flag, and I'm beyond enraged about it. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. The internet is a place for the real discourse. I mean, I suppose it's not worse than the real world. It's just, like, less... You know, keyboard warriors, what is that? You don't feel ashamed about sharing your every thought, and it's also immortalized. <laughs> oh god. Top GOP staffer compares transgender children to terrorists. Me and the girls going, going to receive our millions in funding from the CIA? <laughs> you can play that game, bitch! Okay, sorry, I'm getting care. This is this video in combination with sugar is a really, really bad idea. Emotional support demon, I need more support than ever. My emotions are just uh Wow. Actually coming out? <gasps> Going to see my extended family in full girl mode on Christmas! Literally, nobody says anything? Does does this mean they they, they accept? Oh! That that's kinda sweet though. It's it's kinda sweet. Like it can't be two ways. I'm hoping it's the whole some way. Like either it's like, oh damn, that's weird, let's pretend we don't see it, which is which is like eh. And then the other side is just, oh yeah, this is completely normal. It's not even worth making a fuss about because it's so normal. I'm rooting for option two. Uh, guys, I think I am trans. Lots of skulls. Okay. Okay, thanks for letting us know. Lordy, are you gonna DIY your own vajujay? 
This is beautiful though. Have supportive friends that also are willing to joke around a bit, be a little bit of a fellow rascal, if you will. Oh, that is what keeps life interesting. Isn't it emotional support demon? Ah! Oh. Will you press the button? 50% chance you wake up as a cat girl, but there is also a 50% chance you will wake up as a cat girl. Oh wait, no, that was my dyslexia. No, it's like wake up to a cat girl, wake up as a cat girl. Oh, I see. Oh, I mean, is there anyone in the world who like wouldn't press it? Is this even like a, a qu quest like question? You know? Minecraft Bedrock 1.19.10 patch notes. General splashes. Out of the following splash text, you are valid. I'm glad you're here. You are welcome here. Your gender is valid. Contains infinite genders. <laughs> what gender are you? A Minecraft dirt block? I mean, that's that's sort of like you know the old <laughs> freaking 2015 jokes, but like sarcastically. So it's sort of like good, but I like these splashes, man. They're really nice. You are what you eat. Me, a desperate trans woman. My sis DF. Oh, that's really funny, because it can mean two things, right? It can be like really naughty, like, Oh, well, Santa, I've been a naughty girl. It can also be like uh, cannibalism. Or it can be both. <laughs> Family that does not know that I am trans. Elliot! Elliot, my dude, bro! Oh man, you're my best male friend! Oh, boy, dude! Trans, a panic, I'm happy though. Oh, yeah, but, uh, a hill? <laughs> no help for you. Just let the emotions surge. And trans genocide now. Okay. <gasps> Devin to the rescue. My god, freaking Devin. <sighs> Thank god the world is saved. Devin. Mwah. P girls' names. Girls' names starting with P. We have Paige, Patricia, Pakistan International Airlines, Penelope. Mommy, I should indeed. My favorite name is always Pakistan International Airlines. <laughs> Isn't it going to be really confusing, though, if that is your actual name, you know, and you happen to travel with Pakistan Airlines? So it like says airlines two times on the tickets and they're like, where is your name? Like, oh, it's this one. Uh, oh, God. Guys, my friend came out as trans and I call everyone bro dude guy, but I want to avoid that with her. What are some good ways to call someone like that? Oh, definitely like sis or girl or high queen yas. Let's see what the comments have to say. Use sis instead of bro or girl, girl instead of dude. Maybe ask her what she would like to be called. That is so sweet. You can just ask. I mean, sis always works. Like, what up, sis? I call some of my male friends sis. It's very... Oh, yes. But yeah, communication. A very good thing, no matter what the relationship is in your life. If it's friendships or family or loved ones, it's just communication solves like 99% of doubts and issues. Just because I am trans doesn't mean I'm an abomination against God. I mean, uh, I, I am an abomination against God, but not because I'm trans. The caption of this says, my gender is Eldridge W word. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. I think this just solved all the bigotry in the world, right? It's like a mega determination against God. It's not because you're. It's it's because I choose to be. Because yes, but it's not because what these why why these people tell you. You know, it's the difference between correlation and causation. Hashtag math. Just man the frick up and get a girlfriend. <laughs> How about you, man the frick down, and become my GF. <sighs> Ooh, 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 indeed. <laughs> yes, indubitably. Isn't there animals that can, like, literally change their gender and sex if there is, like, a lack of one gender and sex? Is that, like, frogs? I think it might be frogs. Are, are we really turning the... <laughs> We're no longer turning the frogs gay! Turn the frogs trans! Maybe I'm just spreading uh, mass... I, I remember it's some kind of creature. I don't remember which creature it is. Maybe it's demons. Oh, yes. Oh, it's from r slash place! Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful sight for sore eyes. R slash place was so much fun. It was just so much fun. I loved it dearly. I hope it comes back. I want to like indulge more in it because I think we hopped in on it and made mango on the last day of it, which was amazingly fun. But I, next time I want to get like get in on it sooner so we can like go at it for a few days. So much fun. So much fun. Top GF randomly lifts me up and carries me. Ask her why she's doing this. She says she's getting practice for our wedding day. <laughs> oh yes. Y'all, my best friend, who I am crushing on, just came out as bi. I might actually have a chance with him. <gasps> that is 
so si- Oh! How, how the turntables get flipped into gay. I love this. Oh, best of luck. That is so amazing. You know, the best people in life that you mesh with are people that you are genuinely romantically interested in. But they could also be like your best friend. Oh, that is so sweet. Will you push this buton? 50% chance of a million dollars, 50% chance of becoming girl. Oh, the game was rigged. From the start, isn't that right, Demon Boy? Thank you for your input. <laughs> High school wasn't so bad, right? LGBT plus kids, oh my god. <laughs> the war zone. Yeah, high school was a weird time. Like, every, everyone is just figuring themselves out. It's just weird bubbles and gang ups and pack instincts all over the place. It's freaking wild. My friend group back in high school was pretty cool because we were all like super nerds. We would like literally meet during our lunch breaks because one of our friends brought their GameCube to school and we would just hook it up to a screen and play like Smash Bros during our lunch breaks. Uh, it was really nice. But we were all also like competing in martial arts. So nobody would mess with us. Like we were complete social outcasts. <laughs> we were just playing video games and Smash Bros. <laughs> but nobody would make fun of us. <laughs> because... <laughs> Such an ultimate, ultimate combination. Character idea. Villain who accidentally calls to hear away. Good girl. While monologuing. And now they're sleeping together. Oh yes indeed, a little silly superhero movie that turns into something completely different. Oh yes indeed. In ancient Greece, they thought that trans people existed because Apollo got really drunk while creating them. So he gave them the wrong gender. What a cool origin story! <laughs> That is amazing! Oh my- Why aren't modern religions like this? They had this shit figured out like thousands of years ago. What- What happened? This- What? Are you- Are you nervous? Y yeah. Is this your first time? No, I've been- I've been nervous before. <laughs> uh, you know, this joke never gets old. It's just one of those doozies that you can just- Ah. Oh. Glorious. I need to get to a point at something in my life where, where uh, this is a line I can use. I don't know what the context would be exactly, but I hope so. Why do we have hands? There are many reasons. A pat the blow high, hold the blow high, celebrate pride with blow high, remind the blow high of our roots. Yes, blow high. Throw the little brick. You're such a good boy, blow high. Let's see, indeed. Yes, there we go. That's a very good scientific sign of the guy. I have a blow high. It's very good. It's a very cozy thing. I would recommend getting a blow high. It goes very well with emotional support demons. Oh, yes, indeed. People sometimes tell me, click, you're a grown man. Why do you have dozens of plushies? Don't judge me, please. God. I have issues and I am not accepting any help, thank you. Reminder that you have the right to alter your body until you feel at home in it. Whether that's clothes, makeup, haircuts, or more permanent things like piercing, tattoos, hormones, and surgeries. It's your flesh vessel and you are the only one who should get to design it. Well, that is true. Who you are, really, is your brain and by extension your body. It's supposed to walk you around, make you feel good, and socialize with things. Make it so you are comfortable with it. Life is too short to just, like, Oh my god, I'm so worried about this random person who means Jack Poe is gonna think of my choice. That's actually a pretty good word of wisdom I got at some point in my life. I don't remember exactly when, but no matter what you do in life, um, there's always gonna be someone that opposes it. It can be like when you go to do career, it can be when you choose to be who you are, someone you are with. It's it's no matter what you do, you're always gonna have someone who's like against you or doesn't approve of it or whatever it might be. And at some point, it's good to realize when you should take it seriously and when you shouldn't. Because a lot of the time, if it's just one or two people saying that, oh my god, something you're doing is wrong or it doesn't align with my amazing worldview, maybe you shouldn't worry so much about it. <laughs> Why do we always break this? <laughs> God. But I think that's a pretty good life lesson. Like, listen to your friends and that kind of stuff. People you genuinely trust have your best interest at heart. But don't listen to everyone because you will never be able to do anything, really. You will never get 100% of people happy. It's kind of the truth of the world we live in. Me and the girls on June the 30th. Me and the girls on July the 1st. Oh my God, that's just all year round. Yes, indeed. <gasps> Love that. Imagine someone asks you to cat sit, you come over, and it's just a gosh darn femboy sitting there in cat ears going yeah at you. I would get in so much trouble for doing their cats. Whoa, okay. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 also, would this be considered pet sitting or like, or, or, maybe it's just a date setup. Like, haha, totally. <laughs> pet watching and they just lock you together in the same house. <laughs> When you start taking HRT and stop liking boys and start liking girls, they're putting chemicals in my estrogen and turning the freaking me gay! 
Oh, yes, indeed, maybe you're a frog. Love frogs, man. Frogs are amazing. <gasps> maybe I can do that. You, do you think frogs like being on leash? Can I, like, walk a frog like you walk a dog? Does anyone know? Please let me know. I, I need to do that with a frog and a duck. My retirement plans are just set in stone, man. You come out to your mom. She supports you. You ask for a maid outfit and she buys it for you. She makes you clean the house. Well, uh, it, uh this is <laughs> this is like when you say, ah, oh, talk dirty to him. And it's like, mm, dishes. Oh, oh, yes. The laundry hasn't been finished in two weeks. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, the rancidness. Girls to say hi. Girls to say bruh. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, indeed. There are only two genders. Girls to say hi and girls to <laughs> say bruh. <laughs> this video is such a disaster. Oh, my God. <laughs> men. Yeah, you shouldn't go in there. It's for real men. I'm a real man. You know that, right? Really? Then show me your pee pee. <laughs> you want to see my pee pee? That's gay. Lol. Maybe it's like an undercover pickup line. It's like, haha, -ha, sneaky weeky. And it's, it's still a weird pickup line, man. But still, like, de maybe there's maybe there's a fifth panel to this. Maybe there's a fifth panel. He's like, that's gay, lol. And then he's like, yeah. Mind blown. In my next life, I would like to be a lesbian couple's house cat. Why wait, though? E excuse me? Are, um, are, this, mm-hmm, science. Americans overestimate the size of minority groups and underestimate the size of most majority groups. Estimated proportions are calculated by averaging weighted responses, ranging from 0% to 100%, rounded to the nearest whole percentage. To the question, if you had to guess what percentage of American adults, blah blah blah. True proportions were drawn from a variety of sources, including the U.S. Census Bureau, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and polls by YouGov and other polling firms. All right. True proportion, estimated proportion. Have a household income over 1 million? 0%. I mean, I guess it's rounded, but... Okay. Estimated 20? Nobody can believe one-fifth of Americans make 1 million per year. Come on, that's a that's a frickload of money. Are transgender 1%, 21%? Have a household income over 500,000? But this doesn't add up. What? 26, 20? How do you think distributions work? Okay, what? Muslim, American, Jewish, gay or lesbian, 3%? What? That's... That's the real- what? God, even the statistics we were told back in high school, and that's like really outdated by like more than a decade, <laughs> was more than this. And you know, the number hasn't gone down because it's more accepting and the umbrella is also wider. So <laughs> this is so weird. Are atheists 3%? Okay, I know America is a little bit more religious than like where I come from, but <laughs> 3%? Really? <laughs> Jesus, like, my audience alone is almost enough to, like, debunk half of these numbers. What the... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is off. This is so off. I mean, maybe the estimated proportion is, like, accurate. That's, like, the interesting part of this, if that even is accurate. I don't know how they actually did it. But that would be interesting, because then it's like, oh, because you hear about something in the news or something like that, you have the impression that something is more common or larger than it actually is, perhaps. So that's like, okay, I, I can see that. That's, like, an interesting... Analysis of of human mind skewiness. Yeah, it's good stuff. But the other numbers, I, I freaking know where you got that from. That is absolutely bonkers. Telling men about a wonder drug that stops hair loss, lowers your refractory period to under 15 minutes, and lets you feel amazing emotions you've never felt in your life. Side effects may include boobas. Listen, just be a he, him, estrogenized boy. It's fine. I mean, this sounds like an ad. <laughs> Honestly, it's like, hey there, do you want to have fabulous sparkly emotions? Do you like boobas? This is the product for you. Man, I can I can see this turning into like a marketing campaign. A born male become MTF. Get sirs, not fifus. Tell people your fitum. Explain your lack of period slash infertility as effect of testosterone. After a while, they say you're transitioning. Get fifus. Everyone thinks you're a cis female. Jesse, what in the goddamn frick are you talking about? Wait, wait, this is so difficult to keep up with. This is really funny though. I like this. <laughs> but it's just, okay, it's so many steps. I'm confused. The I'm a guy who likes girls, but it's always felt kind of queer. I don't know why to... Oh! Pipeline. <sighs> Twitter does have its nuggets, doesn't it? <sighs> Twitter, don't blow up, please. I would miss a small part of it. R slash jokes. How many trans women does it take to screw in a light bulb? Just one. And you don't even need a light bulb. Just tell her she's a lovely girl and she'll brighten up the room instantly. What a wonderful audience. That is so well received. Because sometimes you see stuff like this online that is outside of like the typical demographic and you just get bombed to absolute crap by like hate comments and downvotes and stuff. But this is so sweet. Oh. Imagining myself in a straight relationship. 
imagining myself in a straight relationship, but that's the girl. <laughs> I see, I see. Well, <laughs> very intriguing indeed. Cis men cross-dressing for Halloween and suddenly having to process 12 new emotions at once. Oh my God. I mean, I knew Halloween could awaken certain uh, demonic aspects, but this was not one I expected. Oh, that's emotional support. Theory. Oh, because emotion. Wow, that is, that is just unintentional humor. And I'm so here for it. Excuse me, Mr. Cashier man. Could I get a pack of cigarettes, sir? I literally have big cups. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Karen's man. <laughs> Why do some cis people care more about trans people's genitalia than their own? Yeah, that is something that's so weird. I remember someone bringing up the question, like, would you ask a cis person the same question you're asking this trans person? Like, hey, take off your pants so we can take a look. You wouldn't ask no one that. It's really weird. But for some reason, it has to do with someone who is not of a cisgender. Then all of a sudden it's normal or, or something like that in people's minds. It's so weird. Like, have you ever asked per people, like, Oh my god, what's inside of those pantaloons? It's it's a strange thing to do. If you just, like, zoom out for a second, be like, Wait a second, would I ask anyone this? And the answer is probably no. Then don't do it. it it's, it's easy. I am not a boy who became a girl. I am a girl who had a botch release and it's regularly pushing performance improvements and bug fixes. This is blowing up. Remember to wash your butt and drink plenty of water. Oh, it's like No Man's Sky. I freaking love No Man's Sky. It's such a good example of a complete botch released. Media went absolutely bananas. The product was garbage. And then I just patched the crap out of it for like five years. And now it's a beautiful game that I genuinely love. Ah, <sighs> man, those kind of timelines are just amazing. They give you hope about a lot of stuff. I hate industrial society. I should peg him. Be mefete. Get a GF. Tell her I'm into femdom. She sends me this picture the next day. I made it. I finally achieved happiness. Aww. This is sweet. You see, anonymous postings on internet can be wholesome and like life energy inducing after all. It's not only horrible Twitterness. <laughs> um gets blow high. Has anyone cut a hole in their blow high for for naughty stuff? If so, can you explain how you did that? Anon! Don't you freaking dare! Do not mess with my blow high like that. Blow high is a sweet boy, please. Here are some more stuff from our slash place. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the disc! Oh my, that might be my favorite. It's so good. Oh, I like, I love pixel art. It just has like a special place in like mix of nostalgia and like new age stuff. And then you just bake in a little bit of colorness into it. And it's just so good, man. It's just so good. Are you winning, son? Dad, I'm not your son anymore. Ah, sorry, Amy. I'm trying my best. I love you, dad. That is so sweet. Oh, like they say, trying is the first step towards failure. <laughs> no, no, no. Try. <laughs> That goes for a lot of things in life, I think. Changing something or getting used to something might not be an instantaneous thing. But when someone is genuinely trying and have the best interest at heart, you can usually tell quite easily. And I think that's what counts. I mean, if you keep messing up indefinitely, maybe, maybe you know, something, something is a bit off. But the thought really does matter if it is a genuine thought. It's kind of sweet. Can I be your cat boy? Only if I get to pick your maid outfit. Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> True love. I may be gender fluid, and I'll put my fluid in every gender. <laughs> that's not... That's not where I thought this was going! You can't just do this to me! I dressed up today for this goddamn video, and I'm already sweating through my clothes. This is... <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, man! Transphobia! You cannot defeat me! I know, but he can! Devin! Devin comes back for more! You see, we all made the right choice of believing in Devin. It's just Devin. <laughs> it's never just Devin. 2006. Oh, cool. The new My Chemical Romance just dropped. 2022. Oh, cool. New My Chemical Romance just dropped. Everybody's cat girl. That is where society is heading. You know, there are two types of evolution. You know, first there is like the purely biological evolution of like selection in nature. Then comes to like somewhat self-aware human evolution where we adjust things and that kind of stuff. And then comes the AI evolution that is able to reiterate both their mind and body. Um, so looking forward to that, baby. Hell yeah. Anything I like about myself. Oh, my mother. B why? <laughs> it's to make you stronger. It's it's for you. Ha. <laughs> Uh, my metamorphosis begins. The form they promised me is great, but the transition shall be agonizing. Oh God, my flesh, it's melting. Oh, oh God, please kill me, oh Father in heaven. Thou shalt thy kingdom and earth and... 
Yeah, oh well. For information about vaccines, visit who.int. <laughs> Do you think this is about vaccines? I can see this being posted as some kind of conspiracy page. Do not take the COVID vaccine turn into cat girl. And everyone is like, oh my god, where can I get my 15 dose? That would just be a selling point though, wouldn't it? Oh my god, this vaccine does so many good shits. POV, you break into my house at 3 a.m. We got the cat ears and the tail and the monster energy. Seems about right. Is that a CSGO knife? <laughs> Where is <laughs> You also have Salmon, is that because of the cat curliness? This meme just has so many things to it. I appreciate the effort. A group of trans women is called the Dev Team. Ooh! It's sort of, I guess, it's kind of like with IT personnel. It's just furries. You know, it's the same kind of thing. That's what we should do. Like, how to solve diversity hiring, you know? You just you just make the teams that, that people will sign up for, and there you go. Solved, yes, equality fixed. Nailed it. Me, finally starting to wear more femme clothes. Thanks, guys. Pockets. So long, partner. Oh, that's... Oh, no. Okay, how, how about a clothing line that are dresses, but with hidden pockets? Like sneaky snack pockets. That's kind of nice. You know how you used to have gun pockets in some tailcoats? That's kind of badass. That kind of stuff for, for dresses. Yes. My parents at age 20. It's a boy! I'm sure he'll grow up to be a handsome man. Me at age 20. Oh, yes, indeed. <sighs> Ah. His pronouns are they slash them. <laughs> I mean, they, <laughs> they got they got spirit, I guess. <laughs> ah. 1999, hundreds of boys queuing up to see the Matrix. 2021, hundreds of those same girls queuing up to go to see the Matrix. The timelines are just, oh yes, indeed. I kind of liked it in Matrix movie, to be honest. I mean, here's the thing. If the third Matrix movie, the original series, had like really wrapped it up nicely, the new movie wouldn't have been necessary, if it makes sense. But I think I, I still liked it. I still liked it. Wasn't bad, man. When the goals are cute AF, oh yes, indeed. But the source is problematic. Oh, we can all be our little deranged Satan demons together. It is beautiful. A lady at the Apple Orchard Disco the other night asked if I was born a man or a woman, and I, drunk, beckoned her close to whisper, and then hollered, I was born a baby, into her ear. That, that's, yeah, that's true though, everyone is born a baby, isn't it? I was born at a very young age. My parents are pro-life, but that didn't stop them from cutting off my health insurance when I came out as a woman. That's kind of, it's kind of wild, isn't it? That's a little bit contradictory. <laughs> Uh, I always just get the vibe with stuff like this that it's more about controlling others than it is about, you know, actually being consistent with your beliefs. It, it's kind of weird. Me on my way to ruin a turf day, a trans rats. I love the gremlin post. That is so good. Yes, everyone should be a little gremlin. Welcome to Mastodon, cat girl transformation gas society. Oh, this is the real like 2012. You know the 2012 movie or, or all the movies where the world is supposed to end and that kind of stuff. This is what's really going to happen. It's just cat girl gas. Gas. Ah, this should be the new conspiracy. Aliens are gonna come to Earth and deploy cat girl gas. I think this is the one and only conspiracy. Trans girls will call themselves ugly and literally look like this? Outrageous! Oh, if you're cold, they are cold. Put them in your bed, the many blow high. You can never have enough blow highs. You know, you know you have reached the pinnacle of, of ultimate adulthood if you just replace every piece of bed sheets and pillows and stuff with blue high. That's the only way of doing it. That that's pure adulthood. No, you can't transition. You were such a pretty girl. Yes, and now I am an ugly man. <laughs> <sighs> So you're trans and gay? I think so, but I'm not sure. I haven't managed to figure myself out either. It's hard. I feel safe around you. Wanna figure stuff out together? Hell yeah. That is beautiful. That is how you're supposed to do it. Figuring yourself out takes time, and you might go through various stages in your life. Life is full of different chapters, and it's not only about this, it's about a lot of things. You grow and evolve constantly, depending on who's around you, what you're doing, what you spend your time on, what you're comfortable with, or when you discover new things. And going through those phases with people you're comfortable with, can bounce things with, whatever it might be, it's, it's a beautiful thing, really. And don't be too hard on yourself to being stuck in the past. It is okay to change and figure out new stuff about yourself. It is something beautiful. How I look the entire day. How I look in a random moment at 3 a.m. in the bathroom. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I used to have such a similar thing when I was writing music more often. I used to wake up at like 2 a.m. in the middle of the night, have this kick-ass melody in my head, and I'm like, damn, I have to get this down, because otherwise I'll forget it forever, you know, because it's in the middle of the night, and it's not like I'm gonna remember it till the morning. So I will take out my note thing, you know, the voice note on my phone, and record a melody, like, da 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 and, uh, you know, and then I just put it away and then I can go to sleep and the next morning I can start working on the song. Absolutely amazing. Next morning I get up, grab a coffee, go to the studio, and I play this beautiful melody that I had an epiphany with in the middle of the night. And I play it and it sounds like this. Why? Brain. God. Me and the boys before estrogen. Me and the girls after estrogen. Aww. I like this meme, and this just breathes some new life into it, you know? Absolutely beautiful. Oh, so these girls can have she slash hers pronouns? But if I do, I am ruining society. Oh my god, look at that. If you can be a little eldritch her with she her pronouns, anyone can do it. Damn it! Trans femmes trying to fit in with their old friend group after transitioning. Ooh, ooh, and all the ooh, ooh. Everyone should ooh, ooh together. That's just ultimate friendship goals, yes. I am dreaming about marrying and that kind of stuff, and I'm also dreaming about the same thing, but with just a slight twist. Oh, yes, indeed. How come plushies cost money? Transphobia. Uh. Okay, Luigi, give me back my gown. Oh, I didn't know. I'm bending it to like it. Oh, it's uh, Luigi. Woo! Study shows only two thirds of Gen Z straight. You're gosh darn right. <laughs> straight up fat. Straight up gay. Well, ladies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this absolute chaoticness of video as much as I enjoyed having you here. Have an amazing rest of your day, you beautiful being. I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah. Mm.